Hello everybody, Tamara here from Poshcat Crafts with another video for you. This time I wanted to show you my crafty stash that I bought at the weekend at a crafting event called Summer Crafting here in the UK. It's run at uh, from Doncaster Racecourse which is really really nice. Lots of different stalls there that you might not see on your high street and uh, I just wanted to show you all that I bought. Uh, we got there on the Saturday really early and they were having Crate and Craft were filming uh, a live hour and we were lucky enough to be right near enough at the front so we got to see them uh, like broadcasted live. A, um, the new uh, die cutting machine called Toddo uh, which looked really good, uh, but I've got too many die cutting machines, so I'm going to give that one a miss until I really, really need it. So at the minute, I don't. And then on the Sunday, we just went back to get what we'd missed on Saturday. And again, we were really lucky, but this time we actually could sit in the in in the audience and watch Nigel May and the Dreamy Girls doing. Um, and the summer demonstrations. Um, I'll go through some of it really quickly. So at the front here I bought some lovely stamps from Lily of the Valley and I got some sayings, some recipe um, card stamps and some background stamps and some, some that I haven't got so they were quite good and I got some lovely Spellbinders dies, layering dies that uh, were on a bit of a half sort of for sale so oh, I really need them so I got quite a few of those and then I got your usual bits like the glue and some I needed some Tim Holt scissors they're the big ones some double sided sticky tape I got some ribbon here uh, some fabric squares and some, lots of lovely glitter here and embossing powder this is a uh, Wow, a bossing powder and some really really chunky. I don't think you can see that, but this is really chunky glitter. I think it's got stars and hearts and things in it. That was actually for my daughter for her, one of her projects. And then that one's a gold one. Uh, can't really see it very well, it's a bit too sparkly, but that's sort of gold, that's all round, that's all circles in that one. And then some really fine glitter. This is purple. I love purple. It's my favourite colour. And some um, some snow. I thought getting ready to do my Christmas cards. So that would be come in handy. Then I bought some uh, Anirondack ink pads there. And some more paint. This is a new line of paint from Debbie Moore. It's uh, called Vintage Chic. And this is a like a tealy brown, no, not teal, sorry, sort of a nice chalky green. Uh, so I'm quite looking forward to using those on a few projects. Then I bought some stamps, my first stamp set from um, the Dreamies, a company here in the UK. And I thought I'd give them a try. And what else did I get? Uh, some paper flowers. Uh, some more stamps from Incalicious. I quite like their mixed media stamps, so I got a few of those. Again, they were quite reasonably priced. Um, I bought some new mixed media structurizer. Never heard of it before, but um, you put it on to fabric and it stiffens. So. It works best on absorbent and porous fabrics and um, you can then colour it with paints or waxes or varnish so I thought I'd give that a go. Uh, so that would be another one of my projects. And then I bought some lovely snowflakes, uh, sort of diamante snowflakes from uh, Chloe's Creative um, Cards. 
And there, she does some really nice ones I've got over here. And I've got some mini snowflakes. <coughs> and these ones are like little stars with some pearls on. They're very nice too. Um, some more hat pins that I needed. Some decoupage paper for decorating um, furniture. And I can just hear my cat meowing. So if you just bear with me, I'll go and let him in. Right, there he is, you see, he's uh, let in and uh, he's now saying, where's my tea? Hello. Are you gone camera shy? Have you? Are you not going to talk for us? Yes. Right, he's now got off and uh, I dare say you might hear him meowing in the background because he does like to talk a lot. Uh, I've got some Pinfair glue and some more paper flowers. I thought I'd try these ones. Um, they look quite nice. Some lace, some crocheted lace that looked nice. I thought I could swap that colour out for any other colour of uh, ribbon that I wanted in the middle. This is a small one, it's quite scalloped. I thought this one looked quite nice. Uh, there, there's some decorative ribbon on that and I bought a rotary cutter and I needed some of those for that and a new guillotine over here that I got because my one was a bit battered and very um, blunt so that was on offer so I thought I'd get that and then these um, new dies they're called linen and lace. They're from Tattered Dyes, or sorry, Tattered Lace. And um, these are a deeper um, dye, and uh, which you can cut fabric with. So I thought I'd give those a go as well. So they were a bit, they were a bit expensive. Them ones, I think they were twenty-four ninety-nine for uh, a set of four. Um, which, but I thought, oh, I'm away, so I treated myself to those. And then at the back here is some Graphic 45 um, 12 by 12 paper. I love this paper when I'm decorating furniture because it's so big. And uh, this one here is um, lovely. It's like really, really old, sort of Victorian. So I'm going to look forward to using that. I think... Oh! And here is just some more pins to make my hat pins with that came in a kit and they were half price so um, I'm going to make some of those up when I get time I'm going to be a bit busy and here are some uh, blank um, MDF hearts I've got three different sizes from the MDF man so they're quite looking forward to using those as well and I think that is all um, I can't think of anything else that I've missed um, no that's about it I think right so uh, I hope you've enjoyed my short little video on my crafty stash from summer crafting uh, in Doncaster 2015 Please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and um, hopefully I will be back shortly with a few tutorials um, in um, the near future. Okay, enjoy the rest of your evening. Speak to you soon.